Hello everyone, today we'll be learning how to make different designs out of dough. Start off by taking this spoon and then make the shape at the back and then using your fingers, sharpen the top end of the back. Make this wave-like shape out of it as well and flatten the back. Use a fork in order to make the lines make a slit in the middle using a knife. Remove the center as such. Now press the back together. Make two slits on either side of the back, one at the back and one at the front. Now in the front, make this face elongated. Make multiple lines using a knife and then you may take either the back of a spoon or a key and then make these multiple lines onto it to make it look like the scales on a fish. Now after you're done with this, add the eyes in the front. Start off by adding a circular piece of dough, then add a black seed to it and make two slits in the front to cut off this moustache-like shape. Next, start off by taking the cylindrical piece of dough and then afterwards make multiple lines on it using a knife. Add two pieces of dough in the front and then add black seeds on top of it to make it look like the eyes. Next, take this ovular flattened piece of dough, make a slit through it and then add it on either end. Use a spoon in order to make multiple lines and then press it together. Now, take a piece of dough, make two slits on either end. Now, add the shape in the front of it and then spread it out. Take this piece of dough, roll out one end of it, and then take a knife, make two slits out of it as such, roll it upwards, flatten it out, and then add the circular shape in the front. Make a slit in the middle, and then make these two circular shapes in the center. Add this little tongue shape using any sort of red object, and then afterwards make a slit in the front and the back as such to make the hands and the legs accordingly. Make a slit in the middle of it, and then afterwards make a slit at the back as well. Don't forget to add the twisted tail at the back. Take this flattened circular piece of the dough, lift it up slightly, join it together in the middle as such. Now flatten and elongate the front. Take this red seed, add it at the back and then press the back together. After this, bring the front together as well and this is what it should look like. Now take a knife, make a slit to the back. Using a fork, flatten it downwards and press it down to make these markings. Take a pair of scissors and then make these multiple slits all throughout the top portion. Do this on either side, add two black seeds on either end, make a slit in the front for the beak. Next, take the circular piece of dough, then add a seed in the middle, wrap the dough around this as such. After this, make it slightly elongated on one of the sides, take a pair of scissors, make two slits on either end, take these circular pieces of dough, press it into the top as such. Make two holes in the front and then add these seeds to make it look like a little wrap. At the back, make two slits and then make two slits in the front as well to make the arms and the legs. Add an elongated tail at the back. Roll out this piece of dough, then take a comb, make this marking in the front as such. Now take a knife, make the slit in the front, roll up one side of it. Now from the back, begin to roll it up as such, and after this, roll it up all the way to the front. Now bring it together, join it together on the front. Afterwards, press it at the back using a fork as such. Press it downwards, and then, taking a pair of scissors, make these multiple slits on the sides as such. Do this on either end of it. Now press out the front. After this, make a slit at the top, add these seed black shapes on either end of it, then add this red little bit at the top. Next, start off by taking this flattened piece of dough and then roll it up in the front as such. Now afterwards, take a pair of scissors and then afterwards, roll it from either end upwards. Do the same at the back as well and then push it to the front. Afterwards, push the back outwards as such. Make multiple slits to it at the front and the back in order to make the hands and the toes of this little frog. Afterwards, add multiple lines to the back of it at seas for the eyes. Thank you for watching.